Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will begin in five minutes. Got a piece we can throw in. Is that? Yeah. We'll do it now. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is about to begin. Please take your seats.
Blue Fox. So we should have some work going on. I'm Tony Labriola, President Emeritus from the Division of Arts and Letters, and I will serve as the Master of Ceremonies for this year's commencement ceremony. Well, we've had a little bit of relief today from that sudden heat wave, and I hope you all think it's a glorious day to celebrate our graduates. And you know, this is their day. However, before we bring them out, I would like to recognize and thank all of you. You know, it takes a village, they say, to raise a child, and it takes a family and friends to help a graduate get here today. So for all your love, for all your devotion, for all your patience, <laughs> and for all your support, thank you. All of you mothers and fathers and brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, neighbors and friends, really thank you. You mean the world to GSU 
and to our community. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, okay, now let's get to graduating. Today our graduates will receive bachelor's and master's degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences and the College of Business. As they cross the stage, our graduates become part of a great GSU tradition of academic and personal success. And we look to them to carry the GSU torch forward as they succeed in their careers and in their future. With me today is Susan Bova, who will serve as our sign language interpreter. And here we go. We now begin the ceremony with the fanfare of the trumpet. Our academic procession is led by Dr. Marlon Cummings, president of the Faculty Senate, and by two of our 2021 Excellence Award winners, Dr. Novia Pagon, assistant professor in the College of Arts and Sciences, and Alice Keene, assistant professor in the College of Business. Orchestra. are being led by Dr. Valerie Cronin Fisher, carrying the College of Arts and Science gonfalon, and Dr. Goche Sargut, carrying the gonfalon for the College of Business. Please welcome the Governor State University faculty and staff. Thank you. 
rest of our faculty and honored guests. And now we have our platform party coming forward. Leading tonight is Christopher White, full professor in the College of Arts and Sciences. Laura Rosset, assistant professor in the College of Arts and Sciences. Colleen Sexton, associate provost and associate vice president of academic affairs. Rosemary Johnson, Associate Provost and Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. Paul McGinnis, Vice President of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. Mustak Chawatre, Dean of Students. Carl Hampton, Chief Diversity Officer. William Cressy, Associate Professor in the College of Business. Cheryl Jones Harper, Civil Service Senate President. Corey Bradford, Vice President of Administration and Finance. Therese King Nohos, Vice President, General Counsel, and Interim Vice President of Human Resources. Maureen Kelly, Executive Director, Government and Community Relations. Helen Hill, GSU Foundation Representative. Will Davis, Vice President of Institutional Advancement and CEO of the Governor's State Foundation. Lester Van Moody, Retention Specialist and GSU alum. Mary Carrington, Chair of the Division of Science, Mathematics, and Technology, and Interim Executive Director of Graduate Studies. Catherine Balthazar, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Shannon Dermer, Dean of the College of Education. Jun Zhao, Dean of the College of Business. Jason Zingsheim, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Angela Sebastian, Vice Chair, GSU Board of Trustees. John Brudnick, GSU Trustee, Dennis Swanson, Interim Dean, University Library, Janine Latrice Coger, Student Trustee, Sonia Petty, Student Speaker, and one of today's graduates, Beverly Schneller, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, the Honorable Angelica Guerrero K.R., Illinois State Representative, Lisa Harrell, Chair of the Board of Trustees, and Cheryl Green, President of Governor State University. Dr. Green. Thank you all. To all here assembled, esteemed faculty, President Green, trustees, and distinguished guests, staff, friends of the university, friends and relatives of the graduates, and the graduates of the class of 2022. Let the commencement of Governor State University's 53rd academic year begin. 
Thank you, Dr. Cummings. Before we sing the national anthem, we would like to thank our veterans, active duty military, and their family members who are here today. So would all the veterans and active duty military, either in the graduating class or members of the audience, please rise, or if you're in the class, raise your hands and receive the thanks of a grateful GSU community. Please remain standing, graduates, and everyone else for the National Anthem, if you would please rise. This morning's National Anthem will be sung by Ramona Hernandez, a non-traditional student who earned her bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies to capture academic credit for the years she spent in corporate America. She's a member of the Chicago Mass Choir. She is today realizing her dream of graduating as well as to sing the national anthem before a large and lovely audience. So, please rise, and you have, and sing along, if you would, with Ramona, as we honor America by singing the national anthem and expressing our gratitude for higher education in a free society. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light was so proud that we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pain roll a spite or the red but we watched hearts so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare thumbbells bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave, wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Well, thank you, Ramona. Please remain standing for a moment because we're going to be singing the Black National Anthem. The words are in the back of your program. I want to introduce to you Marquise Parks. He's a sophomore in theater and performance studies. We first met Marquise at the, con the convocation in 2022, where he wowed us with his rendition of the national anthem. Today, he will perform the black national anthem, also known as Lift Every Voice and Sing. So will you please welcome Marquise Parks to the stage. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies 
of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Sing a song full of the hope that the darkness has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on to victory is won. Stony the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod. Felt in the days when hope unborn had died, yet with a steady beat have not our weary feet come to the place for which our Father sighed. We have come over a way that the tears have been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughtered. Out from the gloomy past till now we stand at last where the white gleam of the bright star is cast. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thou who has brought us thus far on the way, Thou who has by thy might led us into the light. Keep us forever in the path we pray. Lest our feet stray from the places, our God, where we met Thee. Lest our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world, we forget Thee. Shadow beneath thy hand, may we forever stand true to our God, true to our native land. Beautiful, just beautiful, Marquise. Thank you. Please be seated. Also, would you please join me in welcoming Lisa M. Harrell, Chair of the Governor State University Board of Trustees. Good morning. This is so exciting. When we started on the board, it was um, in 2019. So this is the first in-person graduation that I get to celebrate you. (laughs) 
looking out here, you inspire me. Your work ethic, your accomplishments, your tenacity, your creativity, your hope for what is possible, your sheer grit, your ability to bend and your refusal to break, your curiosity and your boldness to try new things that you've never been done before. First generation in your families, second generation doing something different, doing something out of your comfort zone. You inspire me. You inspire me to do better, to be better. So, it goes without saying that I was preparing my words for you today, they had to be on point. My words had to inspire greatness. So, as I began to think about the right words, I had to say to you, I said, oh, I know, I'll start with a quote. I like quotes. Those single sentences that seem to perfectly capture the essence of a moment, a lifetime, a memory, or a movement. The right quote could inspire a nation, move you to tears, start a rebellion, or simply keep you going when you couldn't go any further, when those classes got so hard, when you were trying to work, when COVID hit, they keep you going. The right quote would inspire and encapsulate your college experience that have led to this moment when the Jaguar Nation class of 22 stands up to be recognized. When preparing my words for you, I scoured some of my favorite inspirational quotes from Winston Churchill to Tupac, from President Obama to Lady Gaga, from the Bible to Cardi B. Looking for those perfect words to inspire, but alas, although I found many quotes that stirred my soul, I struggled to find just the white one for you, for this moment. And then I started thinking about some of my individual experiences and interactions with you, listening to your stories, and I realized that there was no single quote that actually captured this moment because you didn't need inspiration. You are the inspiration. It was not words that were inspiring you, but you that inspired these words. You are words in action and therefore cannot be reduced to a single quote. This school, this class, you refuse to be put into a box, to take a path that has been defined by others, but you chose to walk the road less traveled. Then it hit me. That was it, my words for you. Not a single quote, but a collage of thoughts that were inspired by you and for you. You are words and actions because of whom you are. When others are still talking about what can't be done, you were too busy doing it to even notice the barriers. You see not the problems, but the possibilities. So this is what I have for you today. Be fearless, have the courage to take risks, go where there are no guarantees, get out of your comfort zone, even if it means being uncomfortable. The road less traveled is sometimes fraught with barricades, bumps and uncharted territory, but it is by this road where your character is truly tested. And have the courage to accept that you're not perfect. Nothing is and no one is and that is okay. Now these words come from a book that was penned by Katie Couric. I like the book. I love the book because the author alludes to making choices and taking chances. Simply being first in your family to go to college, trying a different major that you didn't even think about, returning to school after years, continuing with your education while working. Making a choice to learn local when others change differently. You've already started that road less traveled. So undoubtedly, these less traveled paths look mysterious with unexpected situations, but these unconventional choices eventually lead a person, they lead you to extraordinary results. And I know you will continue to be extraordinary. You are more ready than you realize to take that step in your next journey. You have been prepared by your time here at GSU and sharpened by your life's experiences. Dreams that were birthed in you when you were but a child have been cultivated and strengthened and tested and now is your time. You are the dream of your ancestors. You inspire not by your words, but by your actions. And you're graduating today, you did it. I heard somebody say, I'm nervous. I'm like, don't be nervous, you did that. Today you walk to be celebrated. 
So I want everybody to play with me for a second, not just with graduates, but everybody here. I want you to raise your hand like you just did something amazing. Put your finger in the air like I did it. Put that one finger in the air. I did it. I did it. They did it. Be excited for them. Now I want you to twirl that in the air because they did it. Now I want you to take that finger and I want you to put it on your chin. On your chin. This is my cheek. You put it on your chin. You got it? You got it? Okay, you can put your finger down, but I want you to remember this. Your words, no matter how powerful they are, they are limited because people will watch what you do before they listen to what you say every day of the week. Your words, your actions said to me that you do things that others won't, that you try things that others won't, that you inspire. Your actions become your narrative. What you will do with your degree will inspire others. So what do your actions say to me today? Let me tell you what they say to me. You are beautiful, you are kind, you finish things you start, you do it even when you're not afraid. You make mistakes, but you don't give up and you learn. You travel roads that others tread to fear and you choose the path that is less traveled. You hope for the future and you are our hope for the future. So I've learned something in preparing my words for you. It is not a single quote that inspires me today. It is you. And I'm gonna tell you a secret, but don't tell anybody else. Because of you and watching you and listening to you and talking to you for the last three years and being inspired by you, in the fall of 2022, I will become a Jaguar Nation student in the doctoral program because you inspired me. That is what you do. So at 50 years old, I know it is possible because you inspire me. So let me leave you then with these words, not a single quote to inspire as I had intended, but simply words that are inspired by you. They are from the road less traveled by Robert Frost. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in the woods and I, I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. On behalf of the Governor's State University Board of Trustees, congratulations to you, Jaguar Nation Class of 2022. We celebrate you today and the roads that you will travel. God bless. Thank you so much, Chair Harrell. Um, we all faculty look forward to seeing you in a few years. Um, what a wonderful speech, thank you. Now, Dr. Marlon Cummings, President of the Faculty Senate, will now address the graduates on behalf of GSU's excellent faculty. Chair Rail is always hard to follow. <laughs> Good morning. I bring you greetings and congratulations on behalf of the faculty at Governor State University. Congratulations to each of you on your graduation. Today is a day of celebration. It is a reflection of perseverance on your journey at GSU, including the many experiences, accomplishments, and connections you've made during your time with us. As I reflect back on my own commencement, I had so many different feelings all at once. Excitement, fatigue, freedom, hope, anxiety, fear of student loans, the anticipation of my new career, but mostly I felt joy and excitement about the opportunity to share my new talents with my community, with this nation, with the world. And now as a faculty member, while I still remember those feelings, it has changed for me, but the overwhelming feeling is joy. And it remains, and, and it makes commencement my favorite time of the year in the life of a campus. But the overwhelming feeling is joy. And it remains, and, and it makes commencement my favorite time of the year in the life of a campus. This is, although it's not often said, we are thankful for a job like no other, for society has trusted us with creating its future leaders. And at Governor State, we produce leaders. As faculty, we have tried to instill in our graduates the need to pay attention to the well-being of the communities, in, to the communities in which they belong. 
We produce graduates who share the power and ability to help communities, organizations, and other people. Graduation is also a time of reflection and, and a dream about the future. But because of all that's going on, many of us are just trying to deal with today. In fact, some of you may be worried about the world and what we may face in the future. Yet I encourage you to remain focused on your bright future because the world is still moving. Your talents are needed and there are many that are counting on you. So be sure to navigate your world creatively and authentically as you travel through it. Remember to try to make a difference in everything you do, even if it's just in the smallest of ways. But try to make a difference in everything you do, even if it's just in the smallest of ways. Communicate with confidence and poise and remember to listen and be open to altering your perspective whenever possible. Continue to learn, remember to teach, follow your dreams. And of course, have gratitude. For gratitude helps, makes, helps us to make sense of our past, it brings us peace to our present, and it creates a vision for tomorrow. Family and friends, but particularly parents, including those people who serve as your parent, big sister, cousin, abuela, uncle, you know who you are. Take a moment to feel and express the pride that I know is filling your heart. Cheer for your graduate, hug them tight. They deserve it. <laughs> Graduates, please keep in touch with that special professor, staff member or two, and come back and visit us. Remember what Governor State means to you and never forget how much you mean to us. Yesterday, students. Today, graduates. Tomorrow, alumni. Forever, Jaguars. Congratulations, class of 2022. You made it. Thank you so much, Dr. Cummings. And speaking of graduates and alumni, I'd like to ask Lester Van Moody, a GSU retention specialist and also a GSU alum, to welcome our graduates on behalf of the Alumni Association. <laughs> Today, we celebrate your graduation and welcome to your legacy, the Governor State University Class of 2022. You have proven your tenacity, your grit, your resilience by balancing your busy lives with your studies. As alumni, you are the best example of GSU's educational excellence. You are now connected to more than 57,000 alumni who have come before you and also who those who come behind you. I encourage you to display GSU pride and advocate for the university at every opportunity, whether it's in your community, within your house of worship, your civic organization, and in your place of employment. For example, as GSU alumni, you can help us find internships for those students that are following behind your footsteps. Please continue your engagement with the university. Come back. Share your success stories, become a volunteer leader, mentor or student, and even network with other alumni. Continue demonstrating GSU values by be, being civically engaged, innovative, and as a fellow alum and vice chair of our GSU Board of Trustees, Angela Sebastian says, lead wherever you are. Finally, and collectively, Pay it forward. As a class, help future students receive the quality education they deserve. No matter how large or small your gift is, together, the class of 22 will have a legacy that will make a difference. So once again, congratulations on your accomplishments. And on behalf of generations of alumni, I happily welcome you, the class of 2022, to the Governor's State University alumni family. Again, congrats. Thank you so much, Lester. 
Now would you please join me in welcoming Janine Latrice Coger, GSU student trustee. Good afternoon, graduates. Sonia Petty earned her bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies online while working as a medical coder in North Carolina. A native of Chicago's South Side, Sonia returned from an educational break to honor her mother's legacy. Her degree completion proves it is never too late to follow your dreams. Next, Sonia intends to continue her education and pursue a master's degree in public health. And, and to allow her to rewrite healthcare policies. Today, Sonia will share a few words of inspiration from her non-traditional journey as this year's student speaker representing the class of 2022. Sonia, your mother will be proud. Please, let's welcome Sonia. Good morning. You guys look amazing. Good morning to President Dr. Green, the Board of Trustees, friends and families, faculty and staff, and my fellow graduates. This is a historical day and occasion for all of us to be present. For most of us and our families, it has not been an easy journey to arrive at this moment, three full years after the last in-service commencement. Yet we are here, each of us with some stories of triumphs and defeat, but most triumphs of songs of gratitude to our God. I am the proud mother of Akila Petty, a sister to Jackie Lavis and the late George Petty Jr. I am also the daughter of George and Helen Petty, who dreamed of greatness for their children. I am here today because of their hard work and determination, as well as you are here because you were here to commit and you persevered no matter what. Even our own fears could not stop us. When my mom passed away in 2015, I was inspired to honor her memory in two ways. First, I created the Helen Project, which stands for Helping Elders Live Efficiently Now. This project advocates and promote awareness for the much needed challenges of our elders. The second thing I did to honor my mom was to enroll at Governor State University. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> where my sister Jackie earned her degree. My time here at GSU would have made my mom proud. As a student, I was introduced, I'm sorry, inducted into the National Society of Leadership and Success. Hey, I hear y'all, come on. I was crowned Miss Illinois Plus America 2015. Today, I am the reigning queen, my title is Miss Plus Culture Galaxy, which is an international title. <laughs> Thank you. That's to God be the glory. On the academic side, I chose interdisciplinary studies, which gave me the credit for the years of experience I gained as a medical records coder. I relied heavily on Mrs. Tina Hughes-Burke and the interim director <laughs> of academic advising and her staff for the patients, for their patients and expertise. With this team, I was able to create a powerful portfolio and complete my degree fully online. And as we prepared for the next phase of my academic career, ultimately, my goal is to go into public health to create policies to help come change this complex landscape of healthcare. Thank you, Mrs. Hughesberg, for your guidance and for always keeping me on your radar and also your team as well. I would like to just put a pin here for a minute on my speech because I felt like this was important to say. 
This year, I will be celebrating my 40th year high school reunion. I know, right? I get to go to my uh, reunion as a degreed woman. So yes, I have been successful as a medical records coder, traveling through the country, but it was always that burning desire to complete my degree. And so I'm here to tell you that there is no deadline when it comes to dreams fulfilled. It's never too late to start or to finish. And my beaking hope uh, the scripture that I always have on my wall. It's even a signature in my email. Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all things that we ask according to the power that worketh in us. Now that scripture is a direct manifestation because I was never expecting this, right? So to God be the glory for keeping that mindset for me to continue to want to persevere with my degree. So graduates, like me, many of you have risen above your circumstances to arrive at this pivotal point to become college educated and to earn your advanced degrees as well. Nothing could stop us, not even a global pandemic that turned our worlds upside down and stole the lives of our loved ones. Yet we have risen like the um, phoenix from the ashes. The poetic words of Maya Angelou and my favorite poem, Still I Rise, best express how I feel today. Please indulge me. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust I rise. Into a daybreak that is wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. Arise, arise, arise. And if you cannot relate to that particular part of the poem, you are the hope of your families and your children. And so congratulations to the class of 2022. Let us continue to rise and persevere. Thank you for giving me this opportunity for being your student commencement speaker today. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, Sonia. Wow, poems today by Robert Frost and Maya Angelou. It is now my great honor to present the sixth president of Governor State University, Dr. Cheryl Green. Greetings, Governor State University and Jaguar family. I am Cheryl Green, the sixth president, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the spring 22 commencement ceremony. It is so nice to see you here in this place at this predestined moment. But let me begin with a few acknowledgements. And in order for all of us to be here today, there are a host of people who work tirelessly, who dedicate themselves and who sacrifice on behalf of our students. And those acknowledgements go to the GSU Board of Trustees, the Chief Academic Officer and Provost, Dr. Beverly Schneller, members of the President's Cabinet, our esteemed faculty members, administrative staff, of course, our student leaders who spoke with you already and the reason we are all here today, our student graduates.
thank you for joining us today as we rejoice in this moment. Like the students sitting in the audience, I am thrilled to be here because I too have looked forward to this occasion since I arrived at GSU in July of 2020 at the height of the pandemic. Commencement 21 was held as a virtual event, but today we rejoice with the 2022 graduates in person. <laughs> Commencement re represents something very special, emotional and life-changing. Many of our graduates are first generation and have accomplished something in their family that no one else has ever done. You heard it before and I'll say it again, they are their ancestors' wildest dreams. If you are a first generation vis-a-vis -vis the first in your family, to graduate with a college degree, stand and be applauded today. Thank you. And yet, other students are carrying on a proud educational tradition that may go back many years and still others represent generations of Jaguars. If you are a multi-generational college graduate, stand and be recognized today. And speaking of families, today we have sisters Emily and Lydia Aguirre receiving their master's and bachelor's degrees from the university where their mother, Raquel, worked for nearly 30 years before retiring in 20 and 21. Will the Aguirre family please stand? These are but two of nearly 1,000 very special stories being celebrated today with a bachelor's, master's, and advanced degrees. In fact, nearly 30% are graduating with honors as summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. Will the honors graduates please stand as you are able to stand and be recognized. When we drill down further, we find nearly 2% or 23 are graduating summa cum laude. That means that they have a perfect 4.0 grade point average. We also have Governor State University's first PhDs receiving degrees today. While we've offered the EDD, which is another type of doctorate, for years, nine candidates in the class of 2022 will be the first to receive the Doctorate of Philosophy degrees from this university. If you can't see the sheer pride and joy on my face, I'll let you in on a secret. Celebrating this day with you is the absolute 
best part of being the president. Watching you walk across the stage with your degree in hand and knowing that your journey to this predestined moment has been remarkable and nothing less. Along the way, you encountered innumerable obstacles, some of which were prompted by COVID-19, but there were obstacles before COVID-19. And there will be obstacles in your journey after today, but you have proven that you can succeed against the odds. Despite the disruptions and shortages and setbacks, as many have said, you persevered. I call it predestined because I agree with a former president, John F. Kennedy, who said, every accomplishment starts with the will and a decision to try. Each and every one of you sitting here today made a decision to try. You set the universe in motion to align you with your goal, and that is no small feat. Graduates, I am reminded today of the incredible ways you have left your mark on our campus community. You have explored different languages and cultures you have expressed artistic passions through music, theater, dance. You have used your business savvy and entrepreneurial spirit to create new companies. And through teaching and mentorship, you have helped the next generation of students find their way. You have led research that has expanded, expanded knowledge to a variety of fields. You have served your community by volunteering countless hours at schools, nursing homes, parks, and other organizations. And you have donated thousands of dollars for good causes. And speaking of serving the community, I wanna acknowledge another student who stands shoulders above everyone. She embodies the best that GSU has to offer. She is an adult. She is a parent. She is a community leader, and she is an exceptional student, and I speak of none other than Mrs. Leanne Shalepis. If she is here, will you please stand? And of course, I continue to give accolades to our students. And in doing so, I have to mention our student athletes. Can we give them a round of applause? They are scholars and athletes. Our student athletes prevailed this year as well. Our men's soccer team produced its first national qualifier. Lenny Bowman and Sedona Lynn Smith, who set records on the golf course and set the pace in academics for her academic excellence and service to the community. Sedona received none other than the highest award that the state of Illinois can bestow a student. She is the Lincoln Laureate for Governor State University. In so many ways, all of you are champions. And as graduates of Governor State University, you have the skills and experience to positively impact your community, your state, your country, and yes, even the world. As you walk on the stage today, I want you to remember something and keep it close to your heart. You are now and forever members of the Jaguar family, and you are this university's legacy as the jewel of the Southland. And I expect you to shine 
and shine brightly. I hope you will return to campus often, whether it's cheering our teams at homecoming or sharing your expertise as an alumni mentor to a new class of students or any number of ways that you will show your Jaguar pride. We will always welcome you home. We will always look to you to shine brightly. Go forth in your careers and your lives and remember, this is home. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Green. Very inspiring. I would like to call upon Dr. Beverly Schneller, Provost and Vice President of Academic, Academic Affairs, who will present our graduates. Will the class of 2022 please rise as you are able. <laughs> President Green, I have the distinct honor and privilege of presenting the class of 2022. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and the deans of the colleges, I certify that these candidates have completed all degree requirements. Will the graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences, graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences, please come forward. The graduates from the College of Business may now be seated. We are joined by Dr. Jason Zingshan, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. We present to you the candidates for Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Science. Alicia Gonzalez. Oh, this is <laughs> all right. Okay, I guess we uh, are doing the graduate students now. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> so, and now. We present to you the candidates for Master of Arts, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Public Administration, and Master of Science. And congratulations, Alicia Gonzalez. Okay. <laughs> Catherine Ann Romanowski. Leanne Chulipas. Richard, oops, sorry. Richard J. Greenfield. <laughs> Stephanie Denise Lewis Ibu. <laughs> Kimberly R. Wingfield. <laughs> Levita L. Parker. Jaime Vasquez. Lisa McGee Jackson.
Precious Laverne Hubbard. David W. Roberson II. Delia Benamore. Megan Elizabeth Smith. Heather Marie Cox. Sarah Schof. Stephanie Denise Crane. Jeremy Wiss. Delia Kular Gayagos. Amy Shaw. Camise Bollinger. Andrea C. Bowler. Lisa Marie Scott. Tiffany Moo Young White. Harmon Singh. Shashank Kotuthri. <laughs> Monica Kudumu. Peggy J. Oops. Peggy J. Anderson. Lena Moore. Ibrahim Lamade Adewole. William L. Moore. Rachel L. Morrow. Rika Louisant. Tracy R. Atkins. Erica Rose Harris. Ibrahim Yassin. David T. Jones. Derek Anthony Buckner. Aubrey Adams. Sonia Denise Moore Price. Oh, uh, Dominique Loche Williams. Terry B. Young. Angel Augustina Pilkin. Wada Atterbury. Jordan Clayton Taylor. Manuel Reza. Jennifer Irene Forbes. Jeffrey Donald Metzger. John Sorfleet. Melanie Mendoza. Yasmin Dea. Safana Althesh. Sahithi Gotumakala. Sanjana Gata. 
Varun Gutula. Siddharth Satla. Varsha Paruthaju. Kilhi Sirimala. Manika Kancherla. Viwesh Varden Riyakala. Sharvari Ginaram. Sujana Sabanini. Saila Jashwani Gopathi. Nagaraju Kanuri. Vinay Kumar Reddy Chada. Vanith Kuthapali. Sairam Kangara. Vashan Reddy Chinthu Reddy. Pranisha Aluvala. Sujith Brian Bapi. Naveen Kumar Reddy Goni. Anvita Alikat. Mahesh Chari Chipothuri. Shava Reddy Ponchumpali. Jagadish Mamboom Bombolini. Bolalini. Jay Parduzik. Mohammed Abdul Sabor. Jahir Khan Mohammed. Pritham Goenkala. Uday Kumar Reddy Kancharla. AJ Naik Banafa. Manasa Tripunarini. Nana Deepthi Naran. Markia Touche Moore. Alasobo Raim. Jivan Kumar Doda. Ruth Vek Bimarapu. Saikaran Magupala. Chandana Reddy Samuni. Sharvana Shanda Kandagata. Vikram Chandra God Nimala. Naveen Nadu Gavara. Bavya Kilaru. Oh, okay. Sumanth Sirimala. Naga Gotham Ala. Sai Turan Kanjarala. Teja Teja Chananpudi. Junaid Ahmed Iqbal. 
Mohammed Abdul Rahman Asadi. Philip Emmanuel Richardson. Kwame Kwashe. Julius L. Hall. Mohammed Hamed Hussein. Ragava Kumakula. Shivja Radi Mari. Amrutha Varshini Shara. Sunil Kumar Devarakanda. Venkatsai Gandhi. Upender Reddy Kitilya Anagari. Urjitha Daganam. Ashari, oops, Ashari Antella. Pujitha Reddy Arikatla. And Krishna Murti Madonna. And now for the CAS undergraduates, we present to you the candidates for Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Science. Latia Jackson. Lawrence Darnell Davis III. Danielle Michelle Harper. Devin Malik Newell. Zoe Rayanne Trudeau. Lily Kristen Liberty. Isabella Rosalinda Reyes. Quavis Lee Crump. Alex James Favero. Elizabeth Marie Stevens. Boluatife Esther Gonzalo Ashadel. Rachel Rianne Beckman. Ansem Murad Abdel Jaber. Camelia R. Carter. Rag Althesh. Takia Karanina Ford. Kina Cowan. Syed Bilal Mansoor. Sonia Handa. Ivana Novokovic. German Burgos. 
Mohammed Mustafa Rafati. Destiny Ortiz. Cynthia Christofek. Christine Amanda Land Trevilian. Cindy Whitaker. Caitlin Lorraine Stutz. Luis Ramirez. Genevieve Margaret Marion. Sherry Danielle Alexander Rather. Angelo Carol DePace Green. Kendrick Watson. Sylvia Dones. Jamika Michelle Evans. Myra Mitchell. Jonathan Hernandez. Jonathan Banuelos. Jonathan Banuelos. Jack Logan Demonski. James Joseph Langer II. Tasha Riley. Shonda M. Rose. Fernando Castle. Farah Yahya Deifala. Maria A. Marillo. Shanetta Latrice Gibbs Miles. Andrew Crawley. Jonathan K. Almawi. Nicholas Ebert. Tyriel Francois Daly. Paul William Loveless. Seth Johnson. Caitlin Hedberg. Rebecca Cockrell. Miriam A. McCormick Nash. Tammy Bolden. Giovanni Flores. Larry Foster. Corey Bernard Adams, Jr. Lydia N. Aguirre. Gladys D. Williams Sistrunk. Francis K. Williams. Carrie M. Riddle. Sashay Jones. Victoria Michelle Misters. Ian Moriarty. 
Matthew Timmons. Miriam Mahmoud. Sarah Atta Hamad. Alexis Haquez. Siata? Siata E. Allen. Caitlin Adams. Lati Marie Miller. Darsandra Marie Brown. Samantha Fierstein. Ariana Carter. Kiari D. Harris. Jashana Alston. Stephen Baker. Nadia Imani McFadden. Irma Rivas Alvarado. Ahmad Abdurrahman Ahmad. Hemza Shady. Robert Guzman. Azaria Bianca Anderson. Kailisa Young. Janae Javel Brown. Veronica Reyna. Nicole Pilars. James Matthew Thompson. Jay Branch. Ronel Zuriel Quinn. Nicholas William Terry. Abigail Lee Siaki. Kimberly M. Harris. Brianna Garcia. Jordan Veronica Watkins. Colette Christine Walsh. Suad Elhami. Kelly Eleanor Miller. Yolandi Z. Asangwe Christopher. Kara M. Graham. Justin McLaughlin. Claude Thomas Martinez. Eric Dantel Reynolds. Joe Hooper III. Tyan Maurice Simmons. Jasmine A. Grisby. Shu Fang. Zamar Tompkins. Lashandia L. Reese Lewis. 
Sarah Bacon. Robin Saida Young. Afira Kamich Evans. Michael Beckton. Gladys S. Zambrano. Hilda Hisham Daber. Judy Servita. Harold Hill Jr. Ramona Hernandez Colon. Jade Sierra Daniel Eskridge. Alejandra Guzman. Jeremy John De Los Reyes. Jermaine L. Tyler Jr. Naveen Kumar Paka. I am joined by Dr. Jun Zhao, Dean of the College of Business. And we present you with the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science from the College of Business. College of Business, remain seated. We are delighted to have more CAS undergrads to uh, announce. <laughs> Jerome Ficaro. Latoya Renee Harris. Michelle Ponce de Leon. Denise Maria Smith. John Christopher Johnson. DeAndre Robinson II. Lamar Crenshaw. Ariel Alize Areza. Maclovia Garcia. Jessica Quesada Herrera. Sabrine Yassin. Brendan Sean Cheney, Floyd E. Vick, Travion Jalen Brown, Khalil Alexander Little, Ali S. Elmosa. Parthenia Jones.
Rayshun Maurice Bruce. Leslie Riette Clay. Alicia Jackson. Braden Troy Milburn. Rolanda D. Alexander. Sakaya B. Ware. Kristen Faith Holland. Vincent Walden Rivera. Rukayat Amoke Adebisi Adebesin. Shanika Nicole Love. Paris P. Johnson. James Williams, Jr. Monique Nicole Campbell. Ali Latrice Gillard. Matthew Martin Sperlin. Christopher J. Myatt, Jr. Brandy Castillo. Deja Sawyer. Sequena Ball. Nathan Patrick Kehoe. Jacqueline Ann Teske. Julia P. Murphy Jones. Abdul Abderazak. Amin Abido Majid. Benjamin Charlton. Matthew Baldridge. Anthony Erico, Catherine Catalano, Keisha Renee Liggins, Olumuyiwa Adewale Adelaja, Jessica Ocampo. Octavia King. Jada Naya Simone Long. Soleil Morales. Jennifer Palencia. Ravel Ocampo. Maria Del Carmen Avalos. Charles A. Beard, Jr. Daniel Jana. Jose Velasquez. Edson Antonio Gonzalez. Diamond Demetria Hurd. Michael R. Calloway. Victor F. Reyes. Mario Zelinski. Davida E. Wardlaw. Robin Yvette McCarter. 
Adrian Castro. Nathaniel James Cowenhoven. Jason Allen Stuba. Miguel Lopez. Alexis Ralph C. Cuyos. Adam Lawrence Heiser. Patricia Carter. Abigail Sarita Barber. Soji G. Obagbemi. Bernard Anukam Aparanazi. Dahlia O. Bailey. Cameron D. Covington. Sydney Marcia Espinosa. Tiana Elena Clark. Nia Simone Taylor. Marissa Smith. Heather Swanson Bernal. Hussein Alaba Ninalowo. Abidemi Damelola Alisanmi. Nicole Bennett. Dominique J. Clayton. Jessica Miranda. Jaquela Catran. Melody Gambrel. Jamisha Rice. Valant Marie Wright. Nicole Yvette Farrow. Josephine Greenfield. Sean M. McLaren. Courtney Marie Stevenson. Chloe McSpadden Clark. Janice Elaine Scott. Shelby L. Frazier. Velvet M. Brown. Shanice Kiera Jones. Maggie Jo Havlin. Sonia Lynn Petty. Kimberly K. Nason Jones Grooms. Jacqueline Stewart. Brandon Craig. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> well, the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science from the College of Business, please rise, follow your marshals to the ramp on your right side of the stage. And once again, I am joined by Dr. Jun Zhou, Dean of the College of Business.
We present you with the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Jenna Stanicka. Nija Wilkins. Mitzi J. Soto. Matthew Thomas Norcutt. Chase Colin Emerson. Musa Ak Toure. Michael D. Sims. Kremisha Marie Mitchell. Stephanie E. Ward. Kimberly Renata Entelon. Andre Pina Espinosa. Andre Pina Espinosa. Dylan Wyatt Swearingen. Dawson Ian Swearingen. Ellie Reyes. Thomas James Golden. Miriam Abuissa. Kane J. Bateman. Nathaniel Hunter Zotek. Austin T. Jacobson. Catherine Schoenbeck. Ali Amer Mali. Cesar Lopez Cazares. Juan Ruiz. Alicia M. Moore. Mohammed Abu Azba. Juan Pablo Castaneda de Luna. Stephanie Michelle Sama Niego. Heaven Marie Bellac. Kenesha Chocolate. Ricarda Brown. Sarah Alharsha. Anthony Calvin Robinson. Stephen Jonas. Daisy Lynette Herrera. Ariana Neisel. Alyssa Prisbilski. Jacelyn J. Douglas. Sydney Sanders. I'm Mary Johnson. Amy Taylor. Latoya Thomas. Gerald Nathan Duckworth. Karina L. Alexander. Adam Terrell Walton. Laura Rangel. Jasmine Williams. Stephen Michael Patterson. Kara 
Miracle Hayward. Leticia Shanta McCoy. Cynthia Gomez Enriquez. Nicole Angelica Zubasinski. Briani Reyes. Rachelle Ann Jose. Evan W. Dubetz. Hamza Muin Al Musa. Amber Rose Hoag. Patrice Lynette Silas. Chardonnay McCarran. Ellison Julia Flory. Aubrey Rose Hayden. Hadrat Fatima. Talia Smith. Sydney Amoni Hirsch. Hadea Muhammad. Brady Anderson. Andrea Hughes. Sarok Abed. Sharia Bufford. Grace Gloria Capici. Ursula Priscilla Bravo. Aya Mahmood. Olga Estramara. Dea Salah Omar. Sarah Rashid. Sarah Schweibe. Sarah Schweibe. <laughs> Mohammed Khaled Shahada. <laughs> Mohammed Salim Farha. Salah Wafiq Freyhat. Abdurrahim Kalab. Morad Morad. Andre A. Conejo. Omar Mohammed. Christopher Alfredo Mora. Oops. Sierra Ashanti Dennis. Kayla Alexis Roberts. Ode Ryan. Ashley Kazarowski. Destiny Arminda Borrega. We now present you with the candidates for the Master of Business Administration and Master of Science. Tara C. Jackson Griffin. Yeah. 
Sheila A. Rogers Kite. Shadell S. Pinkney Hendricks. Hithaishi Koparam. Darnell M. Payne. Roosevelt Lusant Jr. Patricia Lenise Gibson. Shireen Bigham. James Le Leahy Wilson. Philip Brandon Hoffman II. Mylitha Corrine. Jessica Ashley Joes Ross. Vele Borka Stevanovic. Whitney Olivia Taylor. Sandra Alfaro. Kristen Eglar. Maureen Schiltz. Ama Abulhuda. Amanda K. Speyer. Mira Gutierrez. Colton Richard Criska. <laughs> Renata Kopek. Deandrea Doritha Campbell. Belena Inez Berries Goodwin. Kyle Marciano. Shannon Deanna Duffin. Omar Alzmati. Bridget Smith. Christopher J. Trojan. Iman Samra. Giovanna Kolzik. Ala Latif. Carl G. Stala Jr. Maricela Zambrano. Deja Rose Ware. Lauren Raquel Stockman Medina. Diane Elizabeth Dalton. Emily Raquel Aguirre. No, no. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Shrilaja Vikrama. Okay. <laughs> Sai Shanthos Vanamala. Rakesh Anamula. Calvin Rogers and Mesa Nesa.
And Dr. Green, would you please come up? You will now confer the degrees officially. This is the moment, everyone. Thank you, deans and graduates. Would all of the candidates for the bachelor's and master's degrees please rise and remain standing for the official conferral of degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the university and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Governor's State University and the State of Illinois, I confer upon you the appropriate academic degree with all of the rights, all of the privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Please remain standing. And now to signify your graduation, please move your tassels from right to left. Welcome graduates into the company of educated men and women. You may be seated. Congratulations everyone. And thank you for joining us today on this very happy and important day. We ask that the graduates and guests remain seated during the recessional and during the subsequent fanfare music. When the music subsides, exit the auditorium. You can go both left and right. In consideration of guests, I think it's still a nice day outside. Please don't congregate in the lobby, go outside. And now we all, the trustees, faculty, staff, and distinguished guests, and my own wish for you as you go forward. May the road rise up to meet you, and may the wind be always at your back. Graduates, faculty, President Green, trustees, guests, and friends, our commencement ceremony is now concluded. Platform party faculty and staff, will you please rise for the recessional? Strike up the band.
Thank you.